Well, it started, ladies and gentlemen. The cheats are out there for Necropolis. Hi, welcome to a freshly squeezed video on a Thursday. Why is my logo there? Oh, that's right, because I was just recording a video. I think there's a whopping good logo right there. Like, what? what's that all about? Um, yeah, it's, I was recording something for... Actually, I was recording this as a segment with the MCN tomorrow, but to be honest, uh, with the extent of um, stuff to cover, with I'm just going to go right into kind of like uh, covering it, and this is a separate video, and put it out here on Thursday. I was going to put in a Necropolis Roundup video, which I think I might squeeze into tomorrow, put a bit more effort into it, and get a load of information. That particular video is going to draw together lots of different streams, uh, champion options, and things like that. Really kind of fun-looking uh, video, uh, which will then form the basis of separate guides in the future. But some really fantastic live streams out there uh, for those that were able to do it very early on. And I think put a lot of confidence in uh, players' minds to actually achieve it. But... You can't get more confident than cheating in Necropolis. Yes, indeed, it is a thing. So as new content comes out, of course, there are people that are going to cheat in order to, uh, to to kind of achieve it. And the example of this can be found right about here. So uh, interesting. This is something that in the last 24 hours... We're going to cover a, a segment where somebody had 100% in Necropolis in two hours. I kid you not. This is, a, this is so interesting. Not in a good way, but in a kind of like, what the heck is going on with people? If I'm being honest, I think that people, there are going to be people out there that just cheated just for the, the sake of it. But also there's going to be people out there that have purposefully gone out of their way to cheat in order to uh, gain quick knowledge of how fights are what the what it's like and i reckon there's people within this community even i reckon top end people that have burner accounts that they use cheats with in order to kind of like gain access for the point of information or at least have people that do the work for them to then give them information maybe that's the case uh, you know maybe it's the case it's not the case those aren't words, Richard, I know. Right, um, yeah, interesting. You know, somebody here has uh, has been noted as being a modder. Many people kind of like, you know, uh, point out this could be a very good gamer chair because they've got the uh, profile picture and ruler of the Necropolis. And the fact that this is a level 46 account is kind of giving you the impression that, no, this is not kind of like, this is not right at all. It's level 46, nothing that ain't right. That ain't natural. That ain't normal. That is just plain weird. And of course that is. That's definitely a, a cheater right right there in a nutshell. They do have a nice Rintra though. So it's like, uh, I think I'm je well, I don't think I am jealous of that. I don't have a Rintra. I want a Rintra. Everyone's got a Rintra. Everyone's got an Absorbing Man. Everyone's got a Nick Fury at six star. Do I have that? No, I don't. Am I bitter and jealous? Of course I am. I want those champions. Um, but yeah, look. Uh, Kabam are already on the case of this, and this is this is where things get interesting. Okay, this is where things get really, really interesting. So, this particular uh, alliance, I don't think this alliance will mind too much. Um, I don't know actually if this. Uh, funny enough, I went and had a look at the alliance today. The people in question, well, one person in particular, has not signed in in 22 hours. Whether or not they've been banned, just like that. I, your guess is as good as mine. Very interesting because it's a sizable count to get banned or potentially get banned. So this player right here, and again, I'm going to put the name because it's like it is quite clearly sus as anything. This particular bit of coverage, uh, there's no timestamps, which is annoying. But one of the final things was um, the uh, Bendy uh, kind of no, no, that noted at the time it's not even possible to 100% in an hour or two so this was like really fresh like I had this I don't know if you may, remember like in a video in the last 24 hours I did say I'm sitting on a potential story which requires some investigation and this was it that somebody had within like an hour and a half let's say this is an hour and a half and 100%ed through that particular content like that's just not you know, poor Pepe was kind of farming this until like early on in the um, in the morning. So, <laughs> you know, fair play to some of these people uh, with it. Uh, but yeah, it's like it's just a case of like it is very much uh, on the side of uh, of of sus. And you know, indeed, like I do have like I will kind of like pop up on screen the uh, this particular. 
uh, account which is this one right here which you can see like it's got like ruler of the necropolis um you know <laughs> it's uh hey something's going uh something's going all right there that's not particularly right it's interesting as well because kabam crash said hey there there are no legitimate explorations yet legitimate explorations yet so very much coming out of the gates to say look you know this was Ill illegitimate and anybody that has an explored necropolis to this uh to this point is already or will be permanently banned we eventually uh post the list of the first 10 legitimate explorers thanks for your vigilance yada 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 and what he's referring to is referring to this uh, particular thread right where is it uh, there we go, War on Cheaters, this one here from November, where indeed it is mentioned right at the very uh, beginning of Everest content. Uh, in this, the lessons we learned are being applied to Necropolis, which is the first piece of content we have have ever released with an, in in an integrated anti-cheat program in place before launch. Be warned, modding in Necropolis will be met with an immediate permanent ban, regardless of your account history or fair play of any factor. So that's the thing, isn't it? Like, you will get banned instantly. And this must be on 100%ing. Then you receive the permanent ban, hence why that particular player has not been active in-game for 22 hours. Uh, so this partic that particular player, like, lost their account. But the problem is, it does present something of a of an issue a further issue and something of a uh, you know uh, on the air of like kabam like a level of issue and I, it kind of like goes back in time where's that thread that we just referring to a moment ago i think if i just go back i'll find it um there so it presents an issue that kind of like has been around for a while like even though this particular player has a 2.3 million account there must be a reason they want to kind of like you know just go oh i'm fine for this to be permanent banned I'm I'm happy for it to be permanent, permanently banned. So, would they have, in theory, been getting all these rewards from cheating over the years, over the months, whatever? And are players finding a way to, like, I don't know, get their get rewards from doing stuff, getting a seven day ban, or in that seven day period, getting a lot of stuff, and Kabam aren't dealing with it from a point of view of kind of removing those things. So that's the problem, isn't it? Like these people are able to establish, you know, quite sizable accounts in a very short space of time. It's even weird because like they got the Legends badge, which I suppose in some ways isn't because if they're a cheater and they cheated in order to get the Legends badge, that Legends badge is not removed. It hasn't been removed. It won't be removed. It didn't get removed. And they could have just had, a, as I said, they could have just had a seven day ban, built their account up and, and, and did it that way. Or they're one of these people that, well, legitimately played their account up to a certain point then decided to cheat and now lost everything i guess um well my guess your guess is as good as mine on that particular subject um but yeah it's all it, it's even weird as well because i just noticed like the particular person i think that outed um this player was was from the same alliance so honestly like fair play because here's the thing this will damage alliances if you've got people in your alliance that are cheating, look out for these people. It will damage, um, you know, the state. It could even damage things like your uh, alliance war season. Possibly, possibly not. We've just started the alliance war season. This could affect it. It really could affect it. Like, quite seriously. So you've got you to be careful. You've really got to be careful when it comes to these things. Like, you're not playing in a way that's just, like, stuff like this. But it's good to know that Kabam are on, on this and look, it's super severe. And Kabam have said that they will ban people. You know, Jax has said, you know, to that effect. As always the case, cheating accusations. Oh yeah, we've seen the witch hunt stuff. Uh, but yeah, as Crash pointed out, there are, are uh, they are being hyper vigilant in com uh, combing through cheaters in this piece of content. Not to suggest you've st uh, they've stopped elsewhere. And that's another thing. The second part to this is like, look, we need some action after Battlegrounds. That last season was filled with a lot of sussy people. And I think even though we had those 2,000 accounts banned, you probably see a good chunk of, ch chunk kind of like banned soon. And we'll probably see a ban wave. There's also arena-based people as well that are a bit kind of like on the sus and suspicious. 
Whether or not they were affected by the 2,000 people being banned previously, don't know. But it's definitely something that does need to be dealt with. And that's really it for the video. I don't know what your thoughts on this are. Put it in the comment section. It'd be interesting to read from people that are like how... How, how much like they're kind of looking at this and going like, well, why are people doing this? Like, wh I'm, I'm questioning kind of like, I, I want to know like, why? What, why do people want to do this? Because it causes more damage. I understand if there's people out there that are just doing it to feed information and it's burner accounts. Okay. Do Kabam take action from via VPNs? Not particularly. Is it a way to, is there a way to sign up, kind of find out? Kind of. But. It looks like people have done it for a certain reason, like burning alt accounts to then feed information to other people and their main. God only knows. In any case, hope you have a lovely day. It should be the last video for Thursday unless something game-breaking happens and I need to work on some other projects. So I'll see you all in the next video. Check out some other content and have a lovely day. Have a lovely day, everybody. Bye-bye for now. Tatty-byes.